Hello, Southern Columbia Area School District residents and property owners. This is a short video on how to use our form for the virtual school board meetings to submit questions, comments to the school board and administration. This short video will show you, will walk you through step by step of how to get in the form, how to fill out the form. So a few questions or a few comments to begin. So the form will be posted prior to the meeting and then access to the form will be shut off at the adjournment of the school board meeting. The form is usable in a computer format or also on a mobile device. So let's begin looking at how the form works. So in a very similar, it'll look like on our web page, you may have a couple examples. You may have a click here to submit where you simply have a, a link you can click on or on our web page or in our Facebook feed, it may look like this long link that you can click on to fill the form out. And again, I just want to reiterate residents and property owners of the district. You can use this on a mobile device or on a computer. And also the form will be available via these links on our web page or in our Facebook live feed at the beginning of the virtual school board meeting and then access to the form will be turned off once their adjournment of the school board meeting happens. So let's click on the click here to submit a comment and walk through the form. So once you click on this, you'll be taking to a form like this. So let's look at it step by step. So the title of the form is a virtual school board meeting form, Southern Columbia Area School District resident or property owner. The asterisk, red asterisk means it's a required field. So let's look at step number one. Please enter your first and last name, for example, Robert Jones. So I'm going to enter Robert Jones. Let's go to step two. Please enter the township or borough that you reside in or own property within the school district. For example, Cleveland Township. So I'm going to enter Cleveland Township. Step three, please enter an email address you can be contacted at for any possible follow-up. For example, rjones at gmail.com. This field is not required. You notice there's no red asterisk. So if you're not comfortable sharing your email address, this field is not required. So I'm going to type in rjones at gmail.com. Field number four, step number four, please enter your comment or question for the school board, limit 4,000 characters. Again, this has a red asterisk, it's a required field. So I've entered my question or comment for the school board. Once I am satisfied how I have everything filled out, I will push the submit button. You'll be giving a thank you message. Notice how if you would like to submit another comment or question, all you would simply have to do is click on this link and go through the same steps we just previously did. Again, this link will be available to school board residents and property owners prior to the meeting. Access to the link in the form will be shut off at the adjournment of the school board meeting. Again, this form can be accessed on a computer device or on a mobile device. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, Brian Davis, Technology Coordinator of Southern Columbia Area School District at bdavis at scasd.us. Thank you.